This one begins by telling us how the ancient Olympic Games helped to maintain peace in ancient Greece. That's a bit of a surprising fact, and so we would kind of expect some sort of an explanation in the second half of the sentence. So the prompt begins with these words, in that. And that's kind of a stilted phrase. It's not really used much anymore. So-and-so, in that, something happened. Typically, we would use a way to relate cause and effect. Instead of using in that, we'd use something like because. Help to maintain the peace because they proclaimed a sacred truce. So we'll keep an eye out for the word because or something like that. And also, festivals month. This is, this is awkward also. So A, conceivably, I suppose it could be right if all the other choices were abysmal, but we're not particularly happy with A right now. B also has this odd festivals month, and B has this odd adjective proclaiming. Well, who exactly is proclaiming? It's really unclear, and it certainly is not. It's a modifier, but it's not modifying the word that is touching. Greek world proclaiming it doesn't really work. So there's something really wrong with B. We'll just eliminate it. When we get to C, we have when they. And it's unclear the they. Who does the, to whom does the they refer? Does it refer to the games? Does it refer to people in the Greek world? Does it, it's really unclear who, what the antecedent of they is. And because there's an, a pronoun with an unclear antecedent, that is always something that is wrong on the GMAT. We get to D, and we get for. And here the word for is used as a synonym of the word because. So they, there was peace in the world for this time, for they proclaimed a sacred truth, or for a sacred truth was proclaimed. So that is an excellent explanatory word. So we like that. Let's check out E first. And E is just a, a wordy indirect monstrosity. World by proclamation of that was for the month of the festival. E is just, just abysmal. It's a train wreck. So we eliminate that. We're not really happy with A. And really D is the one that has no grammatical errors. It's clear, precise, sleek. It is by far the strongest answer choice.